Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we not only fought an entirely new boss, two of them actually, the Mulduga, which are the, the whales of the sands, the whales of the dunes, but we also uncovered the Arbiter's Grounds, which honestly weren't that impressive, but we can only assume that the actual Arbiter's Grounds are somewhere beneath that, which is sad that so many, that such a, a brilliant monument and honestly my favorite or one of my favorite dungeons in the Zelda series is is covered by sand entirely but it's it's cool that they they at least paid homage to it and this time we're going to look at some rocks over there this time we are going to finish exploring the Gerudo desert we're almost done we let's see I'll, I'll show you on the map where we've actually gone we went from here, made a, a very wide circle down here, covered this, and are now making our way up here. We've explored this this region fairly uh, fairly thoroughly since we had to go up there for, to infiltrate the Yiga clan, but otherwise there isn't much left. Just some just some uh, some Lizalfo scattered around. Also, I, I do want to head closer to the edge of the map because you never uh, you never know what is there. Also, now that the, I know the Mulduga exist, every single little uh, burst of sand or cloud of sand makes me suspicious that the Mulduga are coming and will eat my soul. Oh, our map just went dark. Uh, let's. You know what? No, I'm not gonna cheat. I was gonna take like three steps back. And then place a beacon on on where I want to go. But I, I know the general direction of it. And so far, whenever there's been one of these these dark areas, there's been a very specific reason for it. Okay, this is a camp. And it's probably not worth clearing. That is also very scary. It's probably not worth clearing, but... I like clearing them. It makes me feel cool, and sometimes I get compliments in, in the comment section of people being like, Oh, man, pal, you're so tactical and stuff. You are the best. And it makes me really warm and fuzzy inside. Okay, can I cook something that gives me cold resist? No? Well, I will eat whole birds then, in that case. Okay, I got this out. Shoot you. Stasis you. Yeah, he's the sniper of the group. Definitely want to be killing him. There, he's dead. Okay, and now let's uh, let's equip Urbosa's Fury and let's give them some some blizzards and also some lightning. Oh, that was cool. Look at that. And um, ooh, I got it. I got it. The perfect send off to these guys is that perfect and you bloop. so cool I need to name that attack that like the blizzard and the lightning oh man that was that was very very beautiful okay so I currently have no clue where we are I just know that that direction is the edge of the map and the, we have static, so we we must have a reason for the static effect. Uh, let's let's end link suffering and equip that. Yeah, there must be a, a reason for this, like a shrine. I'm not picking up anything, but that doesn't mean that nothing's here. Also, I need to make sure. Okay, no more treasures in, in that outcropping. Hmm. I'm kind of expecting some sort of like creepy thing to appear like some sort of ghost zombie I have no clue which direction I'm heading by the way I'm just kind of going direction I actually I just realized I cannot warp out of here this actually gives me gives some some dread here because normally even if you're fighting like a, a gold mained Lionel which apparently exists in the the DLC you like there it's the there's no menace to that because you can always just warp right back out but here oh 
here, there is... There is some menace, and my map went dark again. Because I, I can't actually warp out of danger. You know what this reminds me of, and it it probably should remind me of this, is the the section in Ocarina of Time where you're in the uh, the Gerudo Desert and the Poe leads you through the desert. Is that spoil? It's not spoilers. It's an old game. Okay, you can die. Fish in a barrel. Except these fish also can shoot back and they can shoot lightning. Dead. Okay, I need to... I need to clear the sniper. There, sniper's down. Oh, come on. I need to get that other sniper. Come on. Kill him. Yes, okay. He's down. Now I do not have to worry. Uh, let's get out this. And... Come on. Yeah. How does it, how do you like them apples? Uh the this. Kill him. Do that. Cancel the Herbosis Fury and finish these guys off with a jump attack. And clear out the encampment. Yeah, Herbosis Fury is kinda strong. Uh it's it's just like kinda it's a little bit strong. Like venti strong. It's not like OP. It's actually kind of OP. It's it's really ridiculous. A knight's bow, which I don't want. Is there anything in here that's good? Any reward that I should be grabbing? Like shock arrows would be great. Uh actually. A did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, goodness. Get that. And then throw this away. The Dragon Bone Boat Club is, is something that's legitimately worth picking up. I normally don't say that for these items, but it's it has a, what, 40 power? Um, yeah, 45 power, which is... That's, bad. that's not bad. I've seen worse. And two-handed weapons, in my opinion, are, are the best weapons in the game. And... I'm not just throwing, uh, like, I'm not saying that it's by a wide margin, because there are certainly, like, there are certainly uses for every single weapon we come across. Uh, I prefer, yeah. There are certainly weapons for every, there are certainly, um, uses for every single weapon we come across. Like, the, there are good upsides and downsides that balance them out. For example, the, uh, one-handed weapons are great because you get to use a shield along with them. Uh, the spears are great because while they don't have a bunch of, like, AoE uh, damage, they, they, at the very least, at the very least, they have a ton of range. Also, I have no clue where I'm heading. Cannot go any further. Ah! I don't know. What is that? That's the sun. Okay. Uh, I think I need to head this way. If the edge of the map is on my left, then I need to head with it on my left. Yeah. Um, but then the, the two-ended weapon... The downside is you cannot use your shield, but you get a ton of damage, and you get a ton of AoE. I'm not really sure where I'm heading here. But in my opinion, the downside of not using a shield isn't that big, because if you want to use your shield, just take out the stupid shield. It's not that bad. Okay, out of the sandstorm, I can finally see things on my map, and I can see uh, that there's something down there. Dragon's Exile. So I was just here. Which means I need to head towards the orange thing. Which means I have to go back into the desert. Ugh. And this, right here, is the southwestern corner of the map. You cannot go any further. This is actually the corner. If it, you look at my footsteps here, this is the very corner of the map. You cannot go any further south. This is basically the South Pole. Basically. So now that I've done that, I need to head towards that brown marker, and that is Dragon's Exile. Makes me wonder if we're going to be seeing an elemental dragon or what. There's something... Whoa. Gerudo Great Skeleton. 
in Dragon's Exile. This is... Oh, and there's a great fairy. Oh, guys, there's a great fairy. Oh. Well, first, let's ex let's explore Dragon's Exile. Firstly, just to see what it is, they... A lot of these skeletons kind of have a mini narrative to them. And so I'd like to see what that is. Looks like... Yeah, that's a wing. This is a wing. And then... I don't see the other wing. It must have broken off. And is this the beginnings of the head? There's the arm. Or maybe another wing. That's possible. There's a shrine associated with this. Thank goodness. Because otherwise the warp in here would be a nightmare. Inside the dragon's skull. I mean, it may not be a dragon. It could be just be a... Well, it has wings, I guess. So it is a dragon. I was going to say, it could be just be a giant sandworm. But no, this is indeed a dragon. Is there any... Any Korok in the nose? Does not appear to be. And this, uh, yeah, this is a dragon. It doesn't look like any dragon I recognize. Like, this isn't Dragon's Exile. Looks like there's something over there. Like, this is not the Thunder Dragon from Skyward Sword. Like, definitely not. It, It's not even, oh, he must have grown. No, it, his mouth is completely different. Also, I don't have any money, so we're going to have to solve that while we're here. But first, let's let's go into the shrine. The current solution. Hawakoth Shrine. So, we need Magnesis a lot here. And it... Are we doing block puzzle? I think we're doing block puzzles. So, I need to set that there. I need to bring this over there. And then, yeah, do that. Okay, so that's that's the premise. We're doing a bunch of block puzzles, a bunch more snap its puzzles. Got it. We're given a ball. Oh, bleh. look at all the look at all those connections. Uh, first, there is a chest. As always, whenever there's water, it's always good to use magnesis because there will there's never not been something in water. You. Face me! Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Shoot me. There. Goodbye. Okay. That's it for you. Now, this ball is attached to a chain, which we use to do what? I, I do have... Yeah, okay. I, I do have shock resist clothes on. So I don't have to worry about dying. Connect. Yeah, connect that there. So we can we can go up at least. Uh, I do want to kill this this other guardian. I could use my bow, by the way, but I, I'm choosing not to. I'm ch I'm choosing to do that because it's. Ow! It's way cooler to use my shield to kill these things. Hmm. There's a chest over there. First, let's kill this guy. You. Come on. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, this thing. I am kind of worried about this. It almost looks like... Touching these. We'll do that! Okay. Good to know. Uh, I have a solution for this, though. It's called that. What does this do? That looks actually useful. Hmm. What does that do? Okay, that, that cage opens up a little pathway. So we head through here, and it takes us up to the chest. Okay, so I was expecting us to have to be thrown using one of those traps. Ooh, 300 rupees. That 300 rupees, I think, just saved our bacon from having to teleport back to Gerudo Town and selling stuff because I'm, I'm guessing the Great Fairy is going to demand uh, a thousand rupees. Hopefully that's all she wants. Okay, so we're taking this to the uh, uh, the very end where we will throw it into this this terminal which will open the gate and Send us on our way. 
But instead, we need a gear. What are... Are we playing outlaws now? We need gears to complete puzzles? Oh. Okay. The gear is in there. So we know that. This switch does what? Tilts everything. Uh, which means we need to... Do that? I don't know. Let's, let's see. Close. Uh, we need to move this and let the thing fall back down. Uh, except not. Got it. And this puzzle is solved. Slam bam, thank you ma'am. Let's get let's get our gear, which is a chest underneath of it. Also, is this the first time we get we've gotten to play with gears? I believe it is. We've never used gears before. I mean, we might have seen gears, but I don't think we've been able to interact with them like this. We can throw this onto the puzzle, and it does it for us. We don't have to put it through a specific hole. And this is done! And now here's the question. How much money does this woman want? Does she want a thousand? Fifteen hundred? There- Oh, there's a sand seal right next to us. That's convenient. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am the great fairy Terra. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers came arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I am nearly powerless now. I need money. All I need is 1,000, which you've conveniently just gotten. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need money. Take it. What does she even use the money for? Is it just a sign of devotion or sacrifice, or does she actually go out and like... Is she in this because... Actually, this is the hidden lore. Is she in this because she's naked and she just can't afford clothes and so she goes out and buys them? That would make sense considering she then enhances our clothes. Aha! Aw oh man, look at that midriff. Look at that neck. Look at the, the, the hair. Ah, oh, the hair. Cough, cough. Uh, well, hello there. I am the great earth fairy, Terra. I am the oldest, well, I can tell, of the four sisters. I've been watching your activities from inside my bud all this time. And haven't you been busy swinging that sword around, adventuring? I, I'm not just making wild ac assumptions, you know. I truly do see all. Hmm? I'll prove it right now. I'll predict what you're thinking right at this moment. Huh? You're probably thinking, can't we just skip, skip to the part where she in enhances my clothing. <laughs> Looks like I hit the mark. Hmm? Ahem. What an impatient person. Why don't you show me the clothing you want to have enhanced? Depending on what materials you have on hands, I should be able to enhance your clothing. It, but it all depends. With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Well, shoot, uh, we can enhance it more. Oh, can I? I need eight. I'm one silent shroom short. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One moment. I may not be one, one silent shroom short. I have scanned the amiibos today, but I have forgotten to scan one of them. I may be able to upgrade my stealth to the third level. What happens? Did I get a silent shroom? Did I get a nothing? I think I got a nothing, guys. Ah, uh, that stinks. Well, I can at least upgrade it, and I can upgrade all my clothes, and... Is that... I think that might be the end of this episode. Uh... 
I think it I think we just hit time yeah we you know what no we have to we have a little bit left in the episode I am going to upgrade everything I can and then we're going to explore a little bit more with what we have with what time we have remaining at least to see the creepy animation where she did, probably does something very very illicit to link uh what can I cannot just upgrade these okay the stealth the stealth mask oh boy <laughs> No wonder he's closing his eyes. She's doing things to him. <laughs> As Link gasps. Okay, so we have we have that upgraded. Now, is this the full... I doubt this is the full upgrade. Thinking about it. Actually, I have exactly enough. What am I, what am I talking about? I think, right? No, no, I'll have seven left. Yeah, I, I am one short. Okay, so... I, I can only assume that there's one more great fairy because there has there's consistently been one for every major area of the game so this makes sense also it looks like i'm gonna have to be grinding hinoxes in the future uh sure let's oh. let's upgrade this it's gonna upgrade oh man i'm gonna have so much defense i will be i will be unkillable after this this requires 39 amber by the way or 20 amber, sorry. It requires 20 amber to upgrade. I don't think it's worth it considering it's consistent with the soldier's helm. But just saying, that requires a lot of amber. And that's all I can upgrade right now. Off screen, in between episodes, Shard of Farosh's Horn. Wow, that requires a lot to upgrade. I, I am going to be devoting a lot of my resources towards getting this upgraded. Uh, mainly because I'm just curious about what... In what enhancements we get? Do we get another uh, another set bonus? What what on earth are we going to be getting here? But I will be doing a lot of that off screen or in a, an episode dedicated to its to on, to this alone. See you later. Yeah, cool. Okay, with the remaining few minutes left in the episode, I see. Let's see. Have we gone there? We have not gone there. So let's first get our our walrus. So that's that's gonna be really useful to get by the way it'll cut down the time the the travel time so much okay let's grab him and circle around come on walrus all right yeah th this will this will be cake we can definitely explore the rest of of Grudo desert with this episode because otherwise it's gonna be kind of awkward we're just gonna explore like one area and then be like, okay, well, time to start knocking out quests in the uh, the Gerudo City. Okay, let's. Did we already do this? I think we might have already done this. Yeah, we already did this. So now we just continue to head north, checking out whatever is interesting along the way. I still need to keep my eyes peeled out for that tent, which which you all told me about. It's not too late either because while I, my exploration of Grudo Desert is basically at its conclusion, that doesn't mean that I won't need it because I'm going to be traversing snow areas. Also, that's a Taruma Dunes. Okay. I'm going to be uh, exploring snow areas because I believe, well, we already know that the region directly to the north is, is full of snow. So anything beyond that I can equip that that gear to run full speed in the, in the snow, which is very useful. Ah, uh, Molduga. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're ending the episode with this. At least this time, I I have a I have a a, a seal, so I should be fine. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, let's uh close enough to this thing. I can't really. Dumb thing. Should I? You know what? I'm gonna try it. Will this insta kill it? I don't actually know. Come on. Oh boy. There goes Mifa's blessing. Will that kill it? No, it didn't do anything to it. Wow. Okay. Well, first of all, since this is a boss battle. Let's equip our new and improved soldier's armor with 42 defense. 
Uh, and then down... Do I have anything that gives? Yeah, I do. High level defense boost? <laughs> I, I, sh I think it's overkill. Do I have a mid-level? I have a mid-level. There. How much defense do I even have now? This is ridiculous. I'm basically invincible. Oh, boy. Yeah, that did no damage. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Below me? Okay, I, I, I breached him. And let's spin. Use up Urbosa's Fury on... This guy. Oh. Whoa. What was that? Kill him. He's almost dead. Did I get him? I got him. Yeah. You can be collateral damage. I will allow that. Oh, you're not dead. Really? Well, now he is. Now you are too. Okay, inside the chest is a royal halberd with attack up. A bunch of the standard guts and fins. And then... What else? A royal halberd with durability up. I don't actually want that. Oh, come on. You can... Thank you. And he has stuff as well. Alright! Uh, where did my... I think I lost my seal, guys. The true tragedy here. And it looks like... What is that? That's a Korok, isn't it? Wait. Whoa. Wait a minute. Do you see this? This is new. Here, let's... Let's light all these. This is very new. So we light all these. This is going to open up a shrine. And then there's going to be one... Yeah, there's going to be one over here. Hopefully we're not on a timer. Skrbloosh, what does this do? A shrine? A shrine? Well, that wasn't expected. I, I had no ping on my sensor. I had nothing. But there's a shrine. Well. I guess that's a good way to end the episode. It wasn't just a Mulduga. And I'm actually going to end it before I go into the shrine. Because I've definitely exhausted our, our timer now. The episode would be running long if I went into a shrine. If it's not a blessing, then it's definitely going to run long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we will, exp we will finish exploring Gerudo Desert, head over to Gerudo Town, and then before we head into the next region, I would like to have all of my gear fully upgraded. So, we have a few more episodes left in the Gerudo Desert. Thank you so much for watching, and join me next time in a Monday or Wednesday for another episode of Breath of the Wild. It, okay, this is this is eventually what we need to be opening. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh. We can just leave. Uh. I don't. I don't think this was intended. I don't think... What?